Let's go in and get these little doodads. Doodads, doodads, doodads. Eh. That was a wrong move of my hand. Don't you hate it when that happens? Do do do. Oh, I downloaded Cave Story. Um, Cave Story is one of the Let's Plays I watched, and it's a free game that you can download. Just search for Cave Story in Google. You should be able to find it. Um, yeah, it's pretty fun. I'm not the most coordinated person at it yet, but I'm sure with practice I'll get better. Um, the one I watched was uh, Ultra J-Man's uh, Minimal Item Run. Go check it out, it's pretty good. But yeah, I won't be doing a <laughs> Minimal Item Run. Not a good idea, as he says him he himself, if you're just starting out. Don't do it to yourself, he says. And he's right. <laughs> La. One thing I need to master is in Cave Story is the art of jumping and shooting down at the same time. Not great at that yet. I kind of wish I could reassign the buttons, because I played a few emulator games for things like Pokemon and stuff. I downloaded them for an emulator on my computer, and I had the... Um, buttons mapped out to A, S, D, W. Oh, no, I, the ones I had mapped out, it was just how my hand rested. So I had D, W, A, and I think it was shift as various buttons. And switching from that to the cave story controls, which is like Z, X, A, and S. It's a bit fiddly. And because they're directly next to each other, the Z and the X, I tend to press one in when I mean to press the other one, just because it's more comfortable to move one finger than an the other in the position I need to be in. But I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. It's just a matter of training your muscles to do it. Okay, I can go a bit larger with the selection. Let me just go around here a bit. I've been listening to a lot of AMVs. I'm quite tempted to go out and to play a bit more Lego Batman. I can't hear the TV from in my room, so it might be that nobody's watching anything, which would be great. Might even get up to Joker. Oh no, I was playing the uh, villains one. Yes, yeah, so let's see. I played as Clayface, Freeze, Ivy. So now I think it's just Riddler. No, it'll be Rid Riddler and Two Face. Because those were. Yes, Two Face. Forgot about him. I can't wait to get up to the Joker, though. I remember reading somewhere that whenever you put Joker in something, you may as well just make him the main character, because he's the one everyone's going to pay attention to. You can't not pay attention to the Joker. He's he's the Joker. <laughs> he makes pencils disappear <laughs> with magic tricks. <laughs> and if you don't know that yet, I pity you. They should just remain the Dark Knight the dark joker. <laughs> I mean, watching... I, I actually think I remember watching The Dark Knight and, say, and thinking, God, when's it going to go away from Batman and get back to the Joker? <laughs> it's not good. Well, it is good. It's great when you have a villain that is that entertaining. But it's also kind of bad, because <laughs> people don't want to watch your hero anymore, <laughs> and that's not great. Uh, okay, just figuring out how the hair goes. We'll just color in the whole thing. There we go. I'm still mm, not happy with the way I do hair. Need to work on it. Need to... Look at a few more pictures that I like, see how they do it, and integrate that into my style.
this is basically how I learn to draw. I look at pictures that I like, that I think are done well, I try to look at what they do and integrate that into how I do mine. So you want to learn to draw, you have to look at other artists. And don't copy their style exactly, but I think it's rather hard. You have to intentionally go in to copy someone else's style to do it completely. Because um, you'll find if you're doing what I'm doing, the way I've found is that my art style will evolve and change. When I first started drawing people in an anime style, I had been watching Clamp and Slayers. So my anim my drawing style, the figures that I drew, looked like um, a less talented mixture of Clamp and Slayers art. But yeah, as you analyze more things, uh, look at the way you want them, like, uh, let's see, what's going into this style right now? I mean, I've put in some Kingdom Hearts, I've been trying to uh, get the eyes to connect up a bit more. I can't remember when, when I started to do mouse like that, I think I was just uh, looking at mu various manga rather than anime, just to see how they were getting their lines. Hmm. Anyway, back to work. Do, 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 do. Nearly done with the hair. I wonder how many times I'll have to split this. I don't know. Eh, I'm such an amateur at these. But that's okay. We shall learn together. And if anyone has any comments or suggestions for things for me to talk about, any topics they might want to hear me rant about, Feel free to leave uh, suggestions in the comments, uh, start a discussion. I'd be happy to start a discussion while doing my artwork. I make weird noises, as you've noticed. And sometimes I'll start to sing. Usually I'll have music going in the background while I do my work, do my artwork. I like listening to music, even though I'll kind of fade in and out of paying attention to it. And I will sing along, <laughs> which is why I'm not doing it for these videos. Okay, let's get this while we're up here. La 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 la. That's actually from a Slayer's AMV I found from the movies and the OVAs with Lena and Naga. I love slayers. Need more 